Has life got you down? Do you feel like you need a change? Do you need to escape from the everyday mundane activities? Well, have I got something for you. It is the brand new Living Rum Pack from Hey Harry and Felix Andre. I think it's actually Harry now. I don't think it's Hey Harry anymore. But anyway, these guys are insanely talented and I've loved all of their previous collaborations. Like I feel like you need to have all of their collabs. You just need them. All right, so I've kind of set this up like Ikea rooms and if you don't think this is enough. Uh, there's more. There's more over this side of the room, but I, I feel like we should focus on one side to begin with. The windows are from Moschino Stop Pack. The wallpapers are also Maxis, and the hanging pendant lights are from Harry and Felix Andre's kitchen pack, I believe. Um, but everything else is from this pack. Oh, and the flooring is from Maxis too, and that curtain is from Bathroom Pack. But you know what? Everything else, this is in the pack and it's um, it's beautiful. It is so beautiful, I, I love it. So let's have a look at some of these items. I'm just gonna kind of pull them away so we can appreciate them. One of my most favorite things in this pack is this chair. I think it is so beautiful. And this is the kind of item that I think is such high quality and it is so on bar, on the bar, on the bar? I don't even know if that makes sense. It is so on par, that's what I'm trying to say, with Max's Smash content. And this here, which could be used as a dining table, I believe, is meant to be like a long desk, which I think is such a nice idea. I often use long dining tables as desks. So that's pretty cool. And the clutter items are amazing. There's lots of different swatches here. I love this red swatch, actually. I love that they have a lot of minimal aesthetic designs and a lot of these things are stackable as well so you'll be able to really make your house look very lived in i've got a little box here you know that you can put all your work things in and this is really cool i was so honored harry and felix they asked if because i've been a supporter of their packs for a while if there was anything i would like to request to be in the pack. So I asked for just a little tray with keys in it and they, they created this, which is really cool. And you can actually get the keys by themselves and the tray by themselves, which I'll show you guys later. But they did say to look through all the swatches because there's a surprise. So I don't know what that means. Like there's lots of different things. I think it's the post-its because I used to put post-its everywhere. And I love the love heart keychain as well. Loving the post-its. So that's really cool. That was actually a request, which namaste. I, I, I feel very lucky. And then we've got these leaning geometric panels. And I love that there's like this paint brush strokes on them. Or we can also get like that's a more organic feel. Or you can get the real like one color panel or bright colors or some color blocking, you know, wood grain. You can really mix it up. These paintings are cool. They can lean against the wall. They're absolutely gorgeous, minimal styles. I absolutely love the empty vase. And I love that the empty vase can sit next to a full vase version of it. I thought that was really clever. See, how cool is that? I, I love that. It's like these little details that I'm like, damn, they have good taste. Uh, this is really cool too. These are some Danish shelves. So these are actually three pieces. You can have an, another end piece on here too. You can also use them as room dividers because they're a nice timber behind them. And everything on these shelves, these are all clutter items. So we've got vertical boxes. Uh, you can stack these boxes too, which is pretty cool. I love this vase type thing, which is really nice. Very organic looking. I'm all for the earthy organic vibes. Y'all know me. Some books here, which are really nice. So you can get some different swatches on those. Uh, this is super pretty. I love these shapes of candles. I think they're very nice. And then these lounges. I am so impressed that they've been managed to pull these off as Maxis Match and they don't look to alpha because a lot of the time when you start, you know, doing more shading on the objects and you add these like metal details, it's very difficult to keep them looking Maxis Match. They, they very easily look too realistic, but I actually think they've been able to pull these, these chairs off and not to mention they do work in all the other swatches as well. So I think that's, they deserve a big pat on the back for that. Uh, very impressive stuff. And this uh, proof separate, I mean, these are so, so high quality, my goodness, my goodness me. Uh, the fireplace is gorgeous as well. You can get the plain white, you can get marble vibes. I mean, I'm gonna use this to death. This is the fireplace I was really looking for. 
So I'm so grateful to be able to put it in my game. This geometric painting, which we love. It's kind of this stone cutout, stone cutout artworks and furniture is really a big thing at the moment, I think, that we're seeing a lot more of. Uh, so it's nice to see some of that in The Sims 2 now. Uh, again, these paintings, I love this painting. I love paintings that are like color blocked out. Uh, it's actually a really good way to recycle old paintings is to color block them and they look a bit more contemporary. So go with the pearl earring there, I'm noticing. So that's very cool little frame here tucked behind the curtain. And this frame's the ones that are that also come leaning against the wall. So there is the wall mounted version that I've just kind of hidden a bit. It's just having a sneaky peek there. Not to mention this rug. So nice. I love these really soft colors. Uh, I love the flat colors as well. They're just perfection. You've got a nice palm tree, cause you know what? What's life without a little palm tree to feel like you're on holiday? And there's this big tray here, which uh, is really nice too. You can get wood grain, white stocks. Uh, you can have a few different things on it. Of course, our little key set here can fit on it too. Hey, this is cool. So you can actually get the different phone cases uh, that I think we see in games. So it can actually look like your Sims phone. And I love the little love heart key ring. Uh, and then we have this organic coffee table, which I'm obsessed with. I would love this in real life, actually. I think this is a stunning coffee table. So of course you have it in all the different shades. This is pretty cool as well. I thought this was really nice, like, geometric, minimal, abstract artworks. Damn, it's nice. It, I mean, you just don't get pieces in from the Sims game that are this sophisticated and contemporary. So this is so good. I also happen to love this little bowl vase. I think that's really pretty as well. There's this origami bird, uh, which is really pretty. And this tray, this is the same tray as the key tray. Uh, but it, it's just a separate, so it can come in in different colors and you could place something on it, which is really nice. Oh my gosh, I find this just so exciting. I, oh, they're so good. I can't get over custom content creators these days. You guys are just insanely talented. Uh, this kind of foggy, smoky mirror is really interesting and uh, it can kind of come in different shades and colors with different brackets. It's very, very cool. Oh, and it also comes in the plane, which is fantastic because, you know, sometimes you don't want the smoky vibe on it. Sometimes you want to you wanna have just like a plain mirror, which is really cool. Uh, the desk here that can also be used as a table, super nice. You've got the black legs as well. Uh, this chair is, it's just beautiful. It is just beautiful. <laughs> um, the rug again, super nice. And then I've also used these shelves in another color. So I'll just show you some of the other swatches you can get. Uh, really nice swatches of wood. I really actually like this, this super warm swatch. I think that that is a really nice contrast with the dark wood. And of course I put more clutter items in here. This is actually one of my favorite pieces of plants coming out of this old classical Renaissance sculpture. I just thought that was really cool. And of course we have the fireplace here again in just a different color. Uh, so that's pretty cool. We also have this and this, I think this is a TV. Yeah. So this is a TV picture frame. So I assume when your Sims start watching the TV, it's gonna turn to the TV. Like, wait, let me just double check that it is in the TV section. <gasps> There's two of them. There's also this one. Oh, so this one I put above here. I thought it was painting, fell for it. This is a TV as well. What the heck? That is really insanely cool. Love these chairs. I love that there's the detailing at the seam that's like contrasting to the rest of the chair. But if you're not into that, you can also get all of these different colors, there's some color blocking, uh, there's your plain swatches too. That It's just a really, really nice armchair. Like that is a nice chair. I've got this little marble block, which is very nice. There's like an accent table, this vase again that we saw before. Uh, this is a lovely, lovely little shelving unit. Again, we can change up the colors if we want. And I've also put a few clutter items on here as well. Actually, just the ones. So these ones already come on it. Then we've got an extra book here. Very nice cover. We've got remote controls lying about. Like it really makes the house look a little bit more lived in, you know? You feel me? That's really cool. Then there's this cluster of candles, which we love. This table, love these as well. That's really pretty. 
But I think one of the items which everyone's gonna be most excited about is this modern rocking chair, because we did get the addition of rocking chairs added to the game when Nifty Knitting came out, a fairly new stuff back. And the rocking chairs were really cool, but they were more like traditional, whereas this is a modern one. And I think, I'm assuming they kind of recycled or reused this throw or were inspired by it from Snowy Escape. Maybe not, but I could see that being reused or the texture. And they created this, which is quite the showpiece. Like, yeah, it's so nice. Uh, so I was very impressed by that. If that's not enough, they also decided to add these marble chairs, which are very, wow. I mean, this would be really nice as like outdoor furniture as well. Uh, this is really cool as well. This is like a book on a stand, which I quite liked. Little nod to jungle adventures here. Sometimes it's really nice to look at these details some plants have done in the past. Yeah, these are some other pieces that they've done. Snowy escape. Yeah, there's some really nice pictures. I like, like looking through it as if it's a real <laughs> picture book. And then there's also this bookshelf, which I thought was really nice too. And I quite like it joined up to the end of this because of course the wood grain works really perfectly. And I was just demonstrating that there's pl pl plenty of slots here to place um, all your decorative needs on. So holy moly, that is just a really dang impressive pack. I mean, the amount of work and effort that must have gone into this really, really does blow me away. Uh, so yeah, definitely download this. Definitely support these creators on Patreon. It is now available for early access for Patreon members only right now. And public release is going to be on the 3rd of March. Yay! Get your hands on it. Get your paws on it. Get excited. Well, anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much to Hey Harry and Felix Andre, not only for the insane, custom content. You guys are so talented, incredibly talented. But also thank you for making me feel like a little part of this pack as well with my special little object tray. I'm going to use it all the time. And for my sticky note, I really appreciate it. Hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon. Dag, dag.